friends today's topic of discussion is middle third rule middle third rule states that no tension is developed in the wall or the foundation if the resultant force lies within the middle third of the section the application of this rule is limited to foundation that are rectangular or square in section or plan for circular foundation a different rule known as middle quarter rule applies so let us see a cross section which is rectangular in section so the width is b and the thickness is d so area of the section will be b into d and we know section modulus zxx is equal to ixx upon y max so ixx for a rectangular cross section is b d cube by 12 and y max will be d by 2 so we got b d square by 6 and z y y will be d b square by 6 so we know that for no tension or zero tensile stress condition e will be less than equal to z x x divided by a and eccentricity should be less than equal to z y y divided by a so when we put the value of z x x and a we get e is less than equal to d by 6 and e less than equal to b by 6 hence we get e x is equal to d by 6 and e y is equal to b by 6 if we multiply by 2 we get 2 e x equal to d by 3 and 2 e y is equal to b by 3 now if we draw what we got on the rectangular cross section here we get 2 e x is equal to d by 3 so this is thickness is d and we got 2 e x as d by 3 and here 2 e y we got as b by 3 so this is complete b which is the width and we got 2 e y is equal to b by 3 so we can see that for no tension condition the load must lie within the middle third that is the shaded area of eccentricity 2e this is known as middle third rule so the central shaded portion is called core or kernel of section so similarly this thing is also applicable for a square cross section so this was middle third rule please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching